Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU. And today, as a jailbreak tech YouTuber, I thought it would be pretty cool to share with you guys a utility in my toolkit that I use behind the scenes on occasion when need be. So if this is going to be a new series, think of this as Jailbreak YouTuber Tech Part 1. Now before we get into this piece of software, I want to show you guys something, but you're going to have to come back and you're going to have to look at what I'm looking at. You're going to have to see my camera through my eyes, basically. So check this out here. When I actually go to my files on my camera itself, it's unable to read several of them. That's because they're corrupt. And that's most likely because I ejected the SD card a little bit too early or in some strange way that caused some of the data to become corrupted on the memory card. And you might be wondering, well, what could I possibly be talking about for the first episode? See, it doesn't matter whether I'm talking about my Hackintosh files on my Mac, my SD card for my camera, or even my drone. Sometimes data loss occurs, and I've been using Recover It to recover lost data on any and all of those aforementioned devices. So you'll notice here that when we open up the interface, which by the way, you'll find download links for this below in the description, we receive all of our drives and connected devices. Let's go ahead and now connect my SD card from my camera to my computer and you'll notice that it should pop up under the external drive section right here. It's just untitled. So let's go ahead and click on that and then click start and it's going to begin the scan process. Just like with any piece of recovery software, it's going to take a little bit to scan and recover the item. So I'll be back once it finishes. All right, so here we are. It has successfully completed the scan. You can see that it says 1,606 files found select files and recover now so we can click OK to that and now I want to navigate to where the damaged files actually are for me that's inside of the private directory followed by mp4 root and then again inside of clip and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the files that I know specifically need to be recovered if you don't know the names of the specific files you can select the entire directory on the source location and it will just check off everything and that can basically be your fallback to just recover everything. So let's go ahead and just wait for this to complete. It should only just take a couple of minutes here. All right, so now it's finished. We can go ahead and click OK. We have our directory right here on our desktop. And when we open it, we're going to get the exact same file path. That's just where it's going to place the recovered data. And now you can see that that data has been recovered successfully. So awesome stuff here. This is a tool that, again, is very helpful when recovering lost data. And if you happen to do any sort of creative work, you may know what I'm talking about. Now, not always will it be able to recover everything. It honestly depends on what happened, whether the data is actually originally complete or if it is unfinished. And what I mean by that essentially is if, say, you started recording something, like on a drone, for instance, and then all of a sudden power cut out or you manually turned it off or took out the battery or something, that's going to be a little bit trickier and you probably won't be able to get something like that back. However, if you have any sort of other data corruption it will likely be able to rebuild it, which is awesome. So check out Recover It down below in the description. Check out the free trial, see whether or not it's going to be able to recover your data, and then you can proceed from there. I really hope you guys liked this quick tutorial and spotlight into a tool that I have used previously to assist me. And uh, let me know whether or not you guys want to see more videos like this. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.